Wondering how to create social media videos? By the end of this training, you will know how to create engaging videos for any of the major social networks, including what size they need to be on each of the social networks, how to do them without making the mistakes that many others have made before you, including me, and how easy it is to get started without needing any fancy, expensive software. All right, let's get into it. Hello, busy people. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where I help time-strapped business owners have powerful social media results without the need for a big team, a big budget, or posting every single day. If that sounds like something you want in your business, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create social media videos for your business. Now, video is the future of social media. It's also the now of social media. But look at the fastest rising platforms. You've got Instagram Stories and now Reels, TikTok. All of these are video based. Plus, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg says Facebook's probably gonna be almost all video in the next couple of years. Even LinkedIn is adding LinkedIn Stories. So we are going into video and it's a great time to start making videos on social media for your business. So today I'm gonna to show you the four important steps to take to make great social media videos. And by the way, social media videos have some unique best practices that just don't apply in other parts of the video world. And I'll make sure you know them in this training. First, you need to choose the size of your video. And by size, I mean the dimensions of your video. And now if you're creating a video that you're hoping to post the same one across a bunch of different social networks like the feeds on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram, the best overall size is square. That's 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. Square videos perform the best because they take up more screen space, especially on smartphones, so they hold more attention for your viewers. So when shouldn't your videos be square on social media? Well, for any of the stories platforms, Snapchat stories, uh, Instagram stories, Facebook stories, any of those, these are all going to be vertical or portrait videos. It's a nine by 16 ratio, or often better known as 1080 by 1920 pixels. The other place you would use this size is on IGTV, which prefers vertical video as well. And the third size that's most common on social media is widescreen, or 16 by nine, or 1920 by 1080 pixels. All of these are the same size. You just might see them listed in different ways in different places. These are widescreen videos. They do well here on YouTube, but generally not great on other social media platforms because again, when somebody's scrolling the feed, it takes up so little space. Now you can put a widescreen video on IGTV, and then if your viewer rotates their phone, they can watch it full screen. Now, if you're creating the same video in different sizes or dimensions, so it looks best on all of the platforms you're gonna post it on, I find it easier to use a tool that will automatically resize your videos like InVideo. So you can take a square video and automatically convert it to a vertical or portrait video. And sometimes it looks great with one click. Other times you might need to adjust a couple of things before you're done. But either way, a huge time saver. And by the way, if you've never used InVideo, in just a second, I'm gonna tell you how you can not only try it out for free, but if you decide you love it and you wanna go with one of their paid subscriptions, I've got a special code for you to get 50% off. So once you've chosen the size, the next step that's so important for social media videos compared to some other video platforms is you've gotta figure out what's your hook. How are you going to get their attention immediately? Because you imagine people are just scrolling the feed and they did not even sit down to watch videos. They may just be catching up with colleagues, friends, family, and then your video pops up. So you've got to have a hook that's going to suck them in and you need to do it within about two seconds. So think about what that hook is going to be for your video. Third thing for social media videos, if there's any way you can make it so it's easy to watch without sound, you should. Now here I am speaking on a video and it's like, well, videos without sound, why? 85% of videos on Facebook are watched on mute. And I bet it's pretty similar for Instagram and LinkedIn as well. So how can you make it consumable for somebody with the sound off? Well, for one, at a minimum, you could add captions, but you also might be able to add other words on the screen or different verbal cues so that it's still entertaining and engaging without them having the sound on. Now, your video should still have sound, but it should make it better, not necessarily have it be required. 
And then fourth, you need to choose software to edit your social media videos. And I get asked all the time, hey, what video software do you use? And I use a variety of different tools depending on what exactly I'm trying to do. But when it comes to making videos quickly for social media and different sizes, my go-to has been InVideo, the one I mentioned just a second ago. When you get here, you'll see they actually have thousands of different templates. You could start off here and say, all right, today I wanna make something for my Facebook news feed. I click on that. And then down below, these are all templates that, that are available to you and you just go in and customize them and make your own video. Switch to Facebook story. And now they're all these vertical ones designed for Facebook stories. Or you can actually search by different topics. For example, they have the suggestion here to search for real estate. You can see they're sorted by size. So let's just pick one and click on it. That's a widescreen one. Loads it up. Now I've got my logo and my brand colors already in here. So you notice it automatically added my logo. Obviously I'm not a real estate agent to the video and it's right there. They also include tons of royalty free videos and photos that you can use in your videos. Now, obviously if you were listing a home, you'd probably want to use the, a picture of the actual house but I can just drag this in there, replace it. And now it's got that one. Come over here, update the text to the actual price, square footage, whatever else you were putting up here. Play it back. This shows you exactly what it's gonna look like. And then when you're done, you just hit export and your video will be ready in a few minutes. And of course, if you don't wanna use a template, they've got blank templates that you can start with and build from scratch, or they've got this text to video feature. Come down, choose one of these that you like. And then you put in your headline. So this could be a headline of a blog. It could be a post you were gonna write anyway, and then paste your story into here, and it'll automatically turn it into a video. And then you can, of course, replace images or videos if you want, tweak anything that doesn't look quite right, but you do all of this in your web browser, and you've basically turned a piece of copy that you've written into a video. And if it is a blog post, you can actually just paste the link in, hit fetch, it'll pull the copy right in, then you click on the lines that you want and it'll drop them in as different scenes over here on the right. And in less than a minute, it turned it into a video, even pulling images from their libraries to match what the text is about. So if you wanna try out InVideo for free, you absolutely can. You can find my link down in the description of this video. And then if you decide to upgrade to one of their paid plans, which I highly recommend, because you can do so much more with it, you can get 50% off just for being a member of our five minute social media community. And all that information again is down in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful, take a second, give this video a like, leave me a comment. I love seeing your comments and feedback. And thank you for supporting not only me at 5 Minute Social Media, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.